Hi y'all. Today we're going to do a shrinky dink. I remember doing shrinky dinks as a kid. Just absolutely love shrinky dinks. But this is a shrink inkjet shrink film. So you can either color them. We're going to do some with a marker. Or they're also inkjet and they're double sided. So you can print stuff on both sides. Um, so what we're going to do first is they come in eight and a half by 11 sheets. And I'm going to, um, I've got a frog already colored. Just going to show you how to color one really quick. I'm going to take and just do a trace of the outside of him. And doing this with markers, um, you have to sometimes go over some of the areas a couple of times. But I wanted to give you something to go by. So you can tell the difference of what this thing looks like when it's actually shrunken. Um, the prints that you can use, just find anything off the internet. These are about three inches tall, so um, which work really good. I'm gonna leave some little highlights in his eyeballs. But any image you want, if you have something that in particular that you use as a geocaching logo, um, we've got signal the frog going on so I try to do stuff with our frog okay so here's my original here's the one I just traced um, we're going to then color him in just with these are just permanent markers and the one that I'm doing right now is a lighter green than the first one but you're just going to color him all in some spots here in a minute so if you're not in artistically inclined like I said they are inkjet printable so you can just find images online set it up in some type of art program I'm a graphic artist so I actually use Corel to do most of my stuff but I'm sure you can do stuff in some sort of photo paint or Bunch of different art programs. Okay, I'm gonna go one more time just over his outlines and give him some little just because I want him to show up a little bit better. So, see, he's got colored in, and I'm gonna go over my major outlines. And we're going to add him some little frog nuts just because he needs freckles so he can be too cute when he's all done. Oops, I forgot this side of his leg. I'm going to bend in his leg and make him some more little frog nuts. Doing a bunch of different shapes. Okay, let me string this one out just a little bit. Okay, now, roughly cut this out. Um, if you're using an inkjet printer, I mean, I would go ahead and, you know, try to print eight and a half by 11. That way you're not using, you know, wasting material. This I'm going to just roughly cut out. It does not have to be cut out close to the very edge. And then what I'm going to do is Up here on his top part, I'm going to leave between his eyeballs and his or her eyelashes. I'm going to cut straight across because what we're going to do is add a ring so that people can put this on a keychain or add it to their swag collection. They can hang it if they want or whatever people do with swag. I keep mine in a shadow box. The interesting swag that I find that I like. So he's all cut out. And then I'm going to take a three hole punch or just a regular punch. Um, and in this space up here at the top, I'm going to punch a hole. And then I'm going to add a um, 
split ring. And this is a, the ones I'm gonna use, this is a multi-pack that has six and eight millimeter. I save out my eight millimeters to do this with because they're so little. And you wanna take and open the split ring. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here before I shrink him because you're not gonna believe how much this stuff shrinks. And just wind him around in there. And I'll be back in a few minutes. We're gonna go bake him. And I'll see you in just a few. So I've been in the oven. At, I do, it says between 300 and 350 degrees. I do mine at 325 for about two and a half. So this is what you started with. This is what it shrinks to. Isn't it cute? So this is like just something really great to do um, for any type of swag. I mean, a lot of times I'll put um, the swag in my different containers to match the theme of my containers. I also um, had colored in some butterflies and stuff because I just love butterflies. And uh, that's it. So just an easy little thing. Like I said, if you're not artistic and inclined, you can print it out of the printer or you can color it. Fun little project also to do with your kids. My uh, stepdaughter that's 11 absolutely loves it. So uh, enjoy.